My name is Michael Nayak. I'm a program manager at the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA. Yeah, my name is Gil Griffin, and I'm the executive director of Phantom Works in the Boeing Company. My name is Angelica. I'm from Colorado Springs, and I work at Space Foundation. My name is Audrey Schaefer, and I'm the vice president of strategy and policy at Slingshot Aerospace. Uh, my name is Tamim. Uh, I work for, uh, as an application engineer at Digan. So I'm Liz Pierce, I'm from the Australian Space Agency. Carolyn Free, I'm Associate Professor at Purdue University. I'm James Blake, I'm from the University of Warwick in the UK. Tyler Chandler from Huntsville, Alabama. My name is Mahad, and uh, I'm from Pakistan. Uh, Caitlin Bakunya, and I'm from University of Hawaii at Manoa. Success in the space domain is the ultimate team sport, and our international partnerships are critical to ensuring that success. I think from a policy perspective, there's, there's been some great policy sessions as well. Um, as someone on the technical side, I, I like to dabble with that side of things when I can, and uh, this is a great conference for bringing different people together um, from different backgrounds, and you get to talk to people you otherwise wouldn't see, um, so that's great. It's an extraordinarily complex enterprise, and we see that just among the panel here, uh, but it is, I think every year, we see the stakeholder pool growing dramatically. This is my first year at Amos, my poster is over. These kinds of events are great for fostering dialogue between industry, academia, the government, as well as our international partners who of course come from all those sectors as well. And so the, just the crosstalk of ideas that you really can only have, frankly, when you're here in person is what makes events like this so special. This is something I've been wanted to uh, attend for a longer period of time since I got into this domain. But I'm happy to be a part, part of this because I made connections with the people I need to make connections with uh, internationally. So there are key players in the US, in the UK, in Europe, in um, the Middle East, in Africa, in all of the countries that are represented here. Um, and I have met them and they know who I am now and they now have an avenue into Australia if they want to work with us and I have an avenue to them if I want to work with them and I think that is groundbreaking. I think with the emerging space economies there is a huge gap that exists where the industry can actually guide the government on how to proceed uh, instead of the other way around. And so I've, I've really watched that change to where now I think we have a Space Force, we have a clear vision in this area. Uh, not only do we know what we need to do, we're marching out on it. There's uh, no intentional fragmentation in space. That was something, that was the number one thing that Operis wanted to see in a best practices document. And then there's a whole host of of other um, things, including cybersecurity, and importantly, rules of the road. There's been a, a lot of international call for rules of the road. This, this conference has been an important part of how we have uh, progressed over the past, uh, especially really since 2015, you've seen a, a big inflection point in the interest in space situational awareness, space domain awareness. What keeps me coming back is that uh, my part of Boeing uh, is all about uh, space domain awareness. Uh, Boeing has space domain awareness derived from both this site in Maui as well as the Starfire optical range. And we know that SDA is absolutely critical to any and everything we want to do in space. Please join me in congratulating our 2023 AMOS Poster Award winners. And it is my pleasure to invite you back next year to 2024 Amos as we celebrate 25 years. Mahalo.